Hey guys, it's Deb. Welcome to part 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. And as you can see, we are in an unfamiliar household right now. This is Bridget Wilkerson. Now, Bridget Wilkerson's mother is really, really good friends with Erica. They go way, way back. They've known each other for years and years. As a matter of fact, at one time, the Wilkerson family actually lived next door to the Reynolds family. And this was when Bridget uh, was 13 years old and Ethan was 16 years old. And back then, Bridget had a huge, huge crush on Ethan, and she followed him around like a little puppy dog. But, you know, he was 16, she was 13, and he just really did not even know that she existed. Uh, but right after that, uh, Bridget's family did move out of town, so she did not really get to know Ethan at all whatsoever. But Erica has really kept in very close contact uh, with Bridget's mother, and they are still very close friends. Well, um, it was actually suggested to Erica by a friend of hers named Cole, um, who also knows Bridget. It was suggested that, you know, Bridget and Ethan might actually make a really nice couple. So, uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> So, you know, that um, Bridget might be someone who can uh, get Ethan away from Shauna. So, Erica talked to Bridget's mother and said, you know, um, you know, I'm not happy about my son's current situation uh, with this girl that he is dating. Now, she did not tell Bridget's mother that... Um, Ethan was actually engaged. She hasn't told any of her friends that he's actually engaged to Shauna because she's hoping that she can end their relationship. So she hasn't actually told anybody that. Uh, but she, you know, remarked to Bridget's mother how it would be, a, it might be a good idea for Bridget to come out and and pay a visit out here to Oasis Springs and Willow Creek. And, you know, get to know Ethan again. And perhaps, you know, something could happen between the two of them. And Erica's like, wouldn't it be wonderful uh, for our families to actually uh, be joined together? You know, um, what if Ethan fell in love with Bridget and they got married? Wouldn't that be wonderful? And so Bridget decided to come out here. Now, she does remember having this huge crush on Ethan. And she's really, really excited to be here. She is staying in Oasis Springs. And this house is just one of the many homes uh, that Bridget's family owns. And as you can see, Bridget's family is very wealthy. Uh, she actually has over 71,000 simoleons in her own personal household account. So, you know, they have quite a bit of money. And she is just the sort of girl, you know, that that Erica might think might actually maybe come close to being worthy of her son's attention and her son's affection. And it looks like that we have got some neighborhood watch people. Neighborhood watch. What am I talking about? Uh, neighborhood welcome wagon people here. Uh, and, you know, I'm sorry, but Bridget is the kind of girl who she's just... Um, this Carly McCullough, <laughs> she's not really someone that Bridget really cares to get to know. You know, Bridget is very, very snobbish, just like Erica is, and she only wants to associate with certain kinds of people. Now, she does have the soulmate aspiration, and she is very, very excited to see Ethan again. Um... But she also is a very materialistic person, and she's very self-assured, and she does have the romantic trait. Uh, now, she does not yet know that Ethan is engaged to Shauna. She knows that Ethan is dating a girl who Erica does not approve of, uh, but Erica is getting ready to drop the bomb and give her that information uh, that he is indeed engaged to someone. Uh, so Erica's going to tell her that now. 
And she's telling her, and Bridget's like so disappointed to find out. You know, she was so excited about seeing Ethan again. And she is really disappointed to find out that he is actually engaged to Shauna. But, you know, Bridget's the kind of girl who, although she's disappointed, you know, in that, she also loves a challenge. And she is very self-assured. And she is telling Erica not to worry. She's saying, don't you worry about it. Um, you just leave it to me. I know um, how to get inside a man's head. I know how to win Ethan over. And you don't worry. Shauna will be no problem for me. So she's just just assuring Erica uh, not to worry and that she will take care of it. And that she thinks she can have Ethan and Shauna broken up with in no time. Because, you know, she does know a lot about Ethan. You know, she's um, unbeknownst. Uh, you know, Erica does not even know this. But, you know, Bridget, after they moved and everything, and she grew up and all that stuff, you know, she would regularly, you know, find out what was going on back at home. And she kind of followed Ethan. She followed um, his career in the newspapers and things like that, you know, when he graduated college and everything. And she already knew that he was a doctor, and she already had actually been thinking about looking him up, you know, and seeing how he was doing, because she did have such a mad crush on him when she was young, and she is looking for that perfect soulmate, and she just has not been able to find anyone um, so far that she really feels is actually worthy of her, because... You know, she is a lot like Erica. You know, really a lot like her. Um, and, you know, that's probably one reason why Erica's and um, Bridget's mother get along so well. Because, you know, these women, they are like peas in a pod. <laughs> uh, they are very snobbish, um, very self-absorbed. And, you know... Uh, they really think they're all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> okay, so, you know, she's telling Erica, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Everything is good. Now, she's going to go ahead um, and tell Erica goodbye because she is going to, um, and she, see, she is self-assured. She's going to go ahead and tell Erica goodbye because she wants to get a really good night's sleep so that she can meet Ethan tomorrow. It is Tuesday night. Um, and there you go. She is going to go ahead um, and take herself a long bath. Let's see what kind of tubs we have here. In this particular, where would be the master bathroom? Um, yeah, well, I guess this is the master bathroom. She is going to take herself a long bubble bath and think about um, how she is going to try to impress Ethan. Okay, and while she is doing that, we are going to pop over into Ethan's household and just see what he was up to. Now, in our last episode, Shauna told um, Jordan that she had been arrested and what all happened to her when she was in college. Um, now, Ethan knows that something has really been bothering Shauna, but he does not know what. And he did take Shauna out to the club in the last episode um, to kind of have some alone time with her. And everything went fairly well. And what he's doing over here in Oasis Springs, you know... I have no earthly idea <laughs> what he's doing here, but, um, yeah, we're going to send him home. Um, I guess he was just out and about running some errands and things like that and ended up here in Oasis Springs. So, yeah, he's going to go on home, and I will see you when we get there. Okay, so Ethan is home, and he got home about the same time that his mother did, um, and he's just having a friendly chat with his mom, you know, um, seeing how she is doing. You know, he has no idea what she has been up to. So he's just going to brighten her day because, you know, he is um, 
such a cheerful, such a good, good person, a good Sam, you know, and he does love his mom, even though he realizes that she does have some faults. Of course, you know, he has no idea how deep her faults go, you know, um, and so he's going to just tell her an engaging, engaging story and things like that. Now, where is James? James is out in the pool swimming around, and James has no idea what his wife has been up to. Um, and to be perfectly honest, if he knew what she was up to, uh, you know, he would be appalled. Now, why is Jordan at work at 10 o'clock at night? Let's just see what's going on here. Um, yeah. Okay. Does anyone want to explain to me why her work hours are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.? It is 10 p.m. at night and she's at work? Um, I don't know really why that is. And for some reason, okay, Jack is at home, but it said that he was at school. So I don't understand that either. But he is at home now. And who is this person? This is Brent Norwood just randomly what doing whatever. And, you know, little Jack needs to get his little butt in the little bed. <laughs> so we're going to do that. We're going to send Jack to bed. Um, going to have him go to sleep. Now, I was going to play Jordan a little bit and have her... Um, I don't know, really, what's up with, with this. I don't know if I can get her to come home. It does not look like I can. Okay, there she is. Jordan is back home and has earned $75. Don't really understand what that is all about. Uh, but yeah, Jordan knows um, what's going on with Shauna. It is super late. She's going to get into her Everyday 3 outfit, I guess. Um, and she was going to <laughs> go over and see her honey bunny. Because it's been so very, very long since we played Jordan. Uh, she was going to, and she cannot, because... Wait, that just... Yeah, that means he's not home. So, what she's going to do is... She's going to go ahead and travel. Um, I'll get my you-know-what together here in a second. <laughs> she's going to go to the... Where's that romantic club that I put in? I put in a very, very romantic club. And here it is, the Red Carpet Nightclub. And she's going to go there with her honey bunny, Trent Ramirez, and see how his day was. Um, you know, don't know what got messed up with her work schedule. Hopefully, that it will fix itself. You know, sometimes my game does really weird things. Um... It may be due to the time slower mod that I put in just recently. Um, Cause I did take out a lot of custom content and reinstall some custom content and stuff like that. So that's most likely what the problem was. She is going to greet her honey bunny. She is going to give him, <laughs> she's going to kiss his neck. Because I do have a mod in now that will let you do that when you're adults, not just teenagers. Because <laughs> why should it be limited to teenagers? And she is so glad to see Trent. You know, she is so in love with this man. Um, and, you know, she really wants to move the, their relationship to the next level. You know, she has been daydreaming about marrying this man and actually Trent is the one who is the holdout on this although he tells her you know that he loves her with all his heart which he most certainly does he has not forgotten um about what she did to him about the fact that she pretended like she was in love with him and broke his heart you know he just wants to make sure that her feelings are real, you know, and, you know, he knows that she's not playing games with him anymore, but, you know, he, he doesn't want it to be about the fact that she wants a father for, um, Jack, you know, she doesn't want it to be about that, um, 
He wants it to be about them. Yeah, you know, although he, he does want to live in the same house and be a parent to Jack, be a good father to Jack. You know, he... Um, I think they're going to probably go ahead and... They're going to get in together, and then they're probably going to woohoo in the hot tub. Um, he wants their relationship to be for all the right reasons, not just because she's afraid of being a single mother. You know, um, he just doesn't quite trust her feelings 100% yet. And she's feeling very flirty. She is going to um, compliment his appearance. She's going to flirt with him. And she's going to kiss him. And then she's going to woohoo in the hot tub with him. Um, and we'll just see how that goes. Um, he's feeling very, very flirty. And he has professed his undying love to her. He has told her that, you know, she is the only woman for him. And, you know, although they had a rocky start, that he, is, he has known, you know, from early on that she was the only woman for him. You know, he's never felt like this about anyone before um you know and he does love her with all his heart <laughs> and he has told her that he does want to eventually get married um he just wants to take things slow and let their relationship build um and let's just see what it says about her work schedule for tomorrow or whenever um it says that she has work in 10 hours okay so um yeah, hopefully everything will be okay with that. It will be, okay, it is currently 11.37 p.m. on Tuesday. So, yeah, and this shows that she's off on Mondays and Tuesdays. So, you know, I don't really know what's up with any of it. But there you go. That is what is going on there. Now, uh, Shauna is not, I mean, Shauna, Jordan is not going to tell Trent what Shauna told him about being arrested, but she's also, she is going to confide in Trent uh, that Shauna is going through a very difficult time right now, and that there is something in her past that she's very ashamed of, although she's not going to tell him what that thing is, and she's, you know, just going to tell him that um, she's really worried about Shauna right now. And just kind of pour her heart out to Trent. <laughs> I don't know. They're probably in musical hot tub. I don't know what's going on. Don't know at all. Um, she has not gotten enough exercise, so she really needs to get some exercise. There's nothing here for her to exercise on. Uh, it's pretty late. She's going to tell Trent good night. She's going to kiss him good night. If she can. Uh, she's going to embrace him. She's going to give him a goodnight kiss. And then she's going to go for a little jog. You know, just because she is... Um, she can invite him to stay the night here at this club. <laughs> she's also very hungry, it looks like. Um, so, which should she do? What's this? Okay, this guy is the one that she thought was boring, Rick Dupre. Well, she can either go jogging or she can fix herself something to eat. I think she's going to grill herself something to eat. She's going to grill up some hamburgers. Um, there you go. And then she's going to be going home <laughs> and getting herself a good night's rest. And she'll probably go jogging before she goes to work in the morning. Um, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and leave her for now. And I will see you all tomorrow. And we will most likely be playing with Shauna in the morning when everyone wakes up. See you in a second. Okay, guys. It is Wednesday morning. And we are in Shauna's uh, parents' household. And you might notice that they are in a new house. Um, they did purchase this home that was on the market. They got a really good deal on it. They were staying in that rental property home there. 
Uh, but this home was on the market and the sellers had already moved out and they were um, in a really big hurry to sell this house. So um, Shauna's parents got a really good deal on it. Um, and they are really happy with their purchase. <laughs> and Shauna is cooking up a little breakfast. Her parents are both taking showers right now. Um, and she's cooking up a breakfast scramble um, for herself and her parents because she does love to cook. Let's just see what her cooking skill level is. I know it's pretty, she's got a level six cooking skill. Um, you know, and that's one thing that she does really well. So, um, her mom is very uncomfortable. I thought her mom was in the shower. Are you not in the shower? Why are you uncomfortable? Oh, it was a cheap shower. I did not think that that was a cheap shower, but you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, and what's her dad doing? Her dad must have already gone. Her dad already went off to work, but her mom is going to come downstairs and have some breakfast scramble. She's going to grab a serving. Um, and Shauna's going to talk to her mom because, you know, Shauna talked to Jordan and Jordan seemed to think that it would be a really, really good idea to go ahead and tell Ethan about what's going on. Now, Jordan thinks that Shauna should go ahead and tell him everything, not just about her arrest, but also about the fact that Erica um, is blackmailing her. And, you know, Shauna loves Ethan so much, and she does not want to hurt him. And Shauna knows how upset she would be if she found out that her mother was less, or, you know, less of a woman, you know, less of a person than she thought she would. And she does not want to hurt Ethan. So, you know, she does not really want to tell Ethan that Erica is blackmailing her because... Not because she cares about Erica, uh, but because she does not want to upset Ethan any further. But, you know, she's talking to her mom, and she's saying, Mom, do you think I should go ahead and tell Ethan what I did and what is going on? You know, what do you think he will say? Do you think he will love me less, you know, knowing that I have this secret in my past? And uh, Sandra's like, Shauna, Ethan knows your heart. He knows what a good person you are. And he, he will know. He will understand. You were tricked into doing what you did. You thought that the person you were taking this from, um, you know, was a horrible person. And, and you thought that the girl that you were taking it for deserved to have it. You know, you are not the kind of person who is going to go shoplift. You've never shoplifted anything in your life before then or since then. And, you know, Ethan will understand that it was all a setup. And she's like, but what about his career? You know, what will his boss say if this comes out? You know, I I'm, I'm afraid Erica will go to the press that she will put this, have this put in the newspapers. And Sandra's like, do you really think that she would try to hurt her own son's career like that? Because, you know, if she did leak this to the newspapers, you know, um, what does she have to gain? I mean, you know, yes, uh, she might think that it might cause Ethan to break up with you. But really, she needs to realize, and you probably need to talk with her and tell her, that, um, you know, it's only going to hurt her in the long run. Why does she want to do something to jeopardize her son's career like that? And also, you know, maybe Ethan might go ahead and just tell his boss what happened and explain the situation and, you know, kind of diffuse it like that and let Erica know that um, there's no reason for her to expose it like that. And, you know, Shauna wants to tell Ethan you know, the whole story, but she's kind of afraid to. And so Sandra's saying, why don't you go over and talk to Erica? And Shauna's, she's not feeling very well at all. Uh, it looks like she, she might feel like she's got a fever, but I think that's probably because she's just so upset about this whole situation. But, you know, she thinks her mom might be right. 
You know, maybe it's maybe she should just go over and try to reason with Erica. Um, she's going to put on her everyday four. I don't really remember what that is, but she's going to go ahead and change her clothes, and she's going to go over and find out. You know whether or not Erica is at home, um, and kind of try to have a heart to heart to with with her and tell her, you know. I know you really don't want to hurt your son. You know, how could you do this? And she's going to go ahead and tell Erica that, look, I'm going to tell Ethan everything. Now, I have not decided yet whether I'm going to tell him that you're blackmailing me. I really don't want to hurt him that way. I really don't want him to find out <laughs> this way how you truly are and that you know, you would stoop so low as to try to blackmail me, but, you know, it's up to you what I tell him. Based on what you're going to say right now, you know, it's going to make the difference whether I tell him you're blackmailing me or not. So, you know, that's what she's going to do. Um, first thing she's going to do is she's going to say hello to James uh, because, you know, she does care so much about James. Uh, she's going to brighten his day. You know, he's been so good to Shauna. He is so supportive of her relationship with Ethan. And you can see, Erica is just right off the bat giving Shauna the cold shoulder. You know, um, she has she wants to have nothing to do with Shauna. She's just ignoring her, pretending like Shauna is not even here. You know, Erica thinks she's got Shauna out of the house. You know, she's one step closer to getting Shauna out of Ethan's life. Especially now that Bridget is in town, you know, Erica thinks, you know, she doesn't have to deal with Shauna anymore. She's just going to ignore her. Uh, well, Shauna's going to go ahead um, and talk to James. She's going to discuss his interests a little bit and kind of get to know him a little bit better. She's even going to give him a friendly hug. And let's just see, their relationship is pretty good and she does know all of his traits. Now, um, it says that he is currently unemployed, but he is an entrepreneur and he is working on a business here in Willow Creek um, that he is taking over. You know, he's, he's in the process of building his fortune back up, you know, um, and he's really, really optimistic about his future. He's really excited about his son's wedding and he actually cannot wait to become a grandfather, you know, unlike Erica. You know, he is really, really happy for his son. You know, um, and Shauna so appreciates him. She really does. You know, she can see where Ethan got a lot of his good qualities. And she's going to go ahead and give James a heartfelt compliment. And she's really got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, she's going to see if Erica's going to let her in. She's going to knock on the door. You know, and James is like... Sweetheart, you just go on in. You don't need to knock. You, you know, this is your house as much, you know, more than it is ours because, you know, you're going to be, you know, part owner of this house. We're just staying here. We're just guests. So, you know, you just let your you just let yourself in. And Shauna, you know, she's so polite. She does knock on the door first. Um, but she is going to go ahead I go to the bathroom really quick. Um, just going to use the bathroom. And um, I do want to let you all know, I know that it's been quite a while since Shauna and Ethan um, had a romantic rendezvous. But just so you know, I do have the Risky Woohoo mod of the MC Command Center installed in my game. So every time that anyone woohoos, <laughs> like last night when Jordan and Trent woohooed, there is a very slim, and I do have it set to a very, very small percentage, but there is a very slim chance uh, that they will get pregnant, just like in real life. So uh, it looks like Erica might be about to leave. So, you know, Shauna realizes that Erica's trying to avoid her. She's going to call her over and see if she can stop her from leaving, which I don't know where she would be going in her bathing suit, you know, who knows, but, 
Yeah, she's going to have a deep conversation with her. And she's like, Erica, I need to talk to you. And I don't think that this is something that you want James to hear. I really don't think so. Um, as a matter of fact... Well, James is going to enter the study to read a book. So, you know, um, looks like they're probably okay. So, um, Sean is telling Erica, you know, I've been thinking a lot about what you have said to me. I have been thinking about everything that's going on. And as you know, I did move out uh, for a little while just so that I could think about everything. Um, because I do love Ethan so much, and I do not want you to do anything to hurt him. And I don't understand how a mother, um, uh, okay, something very weird is going on. Because Richard just came home from his day at work, okay? It's 8.41 a.m., and Richard earned a thousand and something simoleons. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Richard's work hours are from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. So, yeah, my game is really, really, really screwed up. So, I'm going to try to figure out what is screwing up my game before the next time um, that I play. I used to have a time slower mod in here that works flawlessly it worked perfectly and for some reason i did change that mod out with a different mod and i think that is what my problem is um so i'm probably going to switch back to the older mod um i don't know because something is really really screwed up here don't really understand it but i hope to have it fixed before the next time that i record and with that said i do need to let you know that it is time for me to say goodbye but I hope that you all have enjoyed this episode of Get to Work. Please let me know what you think about everything in the comments down below. And thank you all so very, very much for watching. I'll see you next time.